Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh friends welcome back to my channel how we can test e4p series optical encoder it is from us digital it is four pin optical encoder it is supplied with 5 volt pin 1 positive 5 volt pin 2 is channel a pin 3 is ground pin 4 is channel b 2 and 4 are outputs two different outputs with phase angle these two are supply pins most of the time it is used with synchro motors servo motors with stepper motors with different shaft position transducers so let's check it i will take 5 volt orange wire positive voltage brown wire that is ground the last pin that is ground blue wire that is channel A output and we will connect channel A here and we will make common with the power supply common channel B output we will take from yellow wire and we will make common with the power supply common oscilloscope common with power supply common so now connections are ready for a good optical encoder in initial stage might be both outputs are high might be both outputs are low depends on the encoder position channel A is low channel B is high might be channel B sometime will low channel A will high I will decrease the time division for initial signal capture I will rotate it to counterclockwise and when the signal will start on the screen I will stop it now I stop the signal we will skip the first portion then we will see the first pulse that is rising zero to high side channel A pulse is starting from this point but if we see channel B that is rising after channel A channel A started from here channel B is starting after from channel A so it is counterclockwise it is a good indication the pulse duration depends on the frequency but rotation determination will be established based on these two signals if channel A signal is coming first and channel B is later that means counterclockwise rotation let's rotate it clockwise now we can see this is zero line and this is zero line channel B is now coming before channel A it is starting from here and this is starting from here so both signals have time difference if channel A will start after channel B that is clockwise rotation this is channel A starting from here channel A signal is starting before channel B that is counterclockwise rotation if channel B is starting before channel A that is clockwise 
and signal amplitude is 5 volt. In this way we can verify the function of this optical encoder E4P. If the signal is distorted or signal is missing any one signal channel A or channel B at that time computer microcontroller cannot determine the rotation and the direction either it is rotating or not what is the direction clockwise or counterclockwise based on that feedback the computer will determine the drive signal for this stepper motor if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching